Good day guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. In our previous class we discussed on how to create a subtotal in an Excel list. So today we are moving on to another topic which is formatting a list as a table. There are different ways we can format a table as a list but in, in this sense I want to show you a, a very beautiful and a very good technique you can format a table in order to to have your well formatted table now in this table before me here you, you you can do so many things in this based on on my on the previous tutorial that we have been we have discussed earlier just like a sort we can make use of sorting filtering subtotal or making even making a pivot table with it but in this type of place, I want to show you how to have a very well formatted table by showing you the, the, the various Excel function that is that is in the Microsoft Excel. Now, let me show you one thing. There are different ways I we we have talked we talk about how to work on count functions. What if I want to know the total number of lists here? So how do I go about it? So just by going through, through equal, maybe let me let me use a very short command here. Equal to count, count. Then let me highlight it. With, sorry. Cross count. Then bracket. So let me highlight it. So to pick the whole control sheet up. No. Then enter. So in this list, I'm it's telling me that I have 53 lists here. So by doing this, it will be a very tedious work. But I will, I would like to show you a very good and well formatted way to, you can make this table to be well, well presentable. All right. Let me show you how to go about it. The first step is to is to to go to your home tab now here now after going to your home tab you then you see a formatted table you can see it choose click just click on it then later you click on it so you can just choose any color you wish to your desire so for me let me choose this particular one so you can see immediately i click on it it pick all the whole table for me so once i click on it you can see a very well formatted table it has, it has been created for me even a drop down menu here you can see you can see which you can perform any functions that that is going to to your well suited now now let me show you another another thing to know the total numbers now to that to total number of delays here so the, just on this design just click on this total row now based on the former uh, practical aspect i follow i use the other time so if you should click on this total row now it's automatically give you the total number of lists on this so this is a really short is a really shortcut for you to do that so now what if i want to add more lists to this row, uh, to this row now the, the easiest way to go about it just come down to this right corner here drag it down sorry you see then just so you can see just drag it down so once you drag it down so you can add any list to this z list here. Let, me, let me show you maybe probably yes that's four five seven let me see joy let me say okay for first name let me say benson yeah the department is shared let me use share then the email let me say thompson all right so the phone extension let me, let me use one or two as well the location i can as well use is right so the little bit i can also use a formatted little bit here right 
you learn all right so you can just watch out just watch out the the total number I mean yeah you can see that automatically the total number changes so you can add as many leads as possible on the list as long as you, you want okay. let me show you another thing here you can see that the total list on this table here is 54 then if you want to know if you want to perform any functions here maybe maximum minimum you can just click on this this drop down menu here and it will definitely give you let me ask okay let me assume that this is a uh, full extension and um, column here is is meant for for um, numeric figure so let me add it let me sum it up let me see let me see what you can see it sum up all the whole details there so you can perform any functions on this drop down menu and you can see that it actually make your your formatted table to be well presentable and more more easier to use than using a a normal table thank you and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel as i keep updating you on more functional and dynamic as a function bye